Just once. I'd like to call up a help desk and hear an Indian accent on the other line. Nazim Hussain isn't afraid to flip casual racism on its head. His TV shows Orange is the New Brown and Legally Brown have received rave reviews and critical acclaim. No, it's not aerobatic certified. OK, I'll just translate. Uh, he said, uh, uh, yes, it can do a loop the loop You can fly to, uh, under the Hubble Bridge if you want as well. Oh, no, it can't go under the bridge. So it can, can go under the Hubble, yes, it can. <laughs> It's no surprise he's become one of the kings of Australian comedy. And he reckons life is pretty sweet back home. Life is so good in Australia that we actually have animal rights activists. Did you know that? People who actually go to rallies for animals. And the animals don't even go. That's crazy. <laughs> Nazim, welcome. New Zealand, so glad to have you here. I'm so glad to be here. I've got an embarrassing first question. It was just Mother's Day, and my mum for Mother's Day said, don't get me a present. She said, my gift is that I don't have to come to your comedy festival show. <laughs> so I've got to ask you, what do your parents think about your comedy career? Uh, well, my, my dad passed away, so uh, his thoughts have ceased. Um, <laughs> Sorry to <laughs> ask. <laughs> you brought it up. Right? <laughs> My, my mum, like, she uh, you know, like, it is a weird thing. My mum left Sri Lanka for some better life. All of her family stayed behind, and now I'm a professional comedian. She's tried to describe to her family what I do. She's, I've seen it over WhatsApp. She's like, oh, he's, he's a famous comedian. He tells jokes to strangers. He's very good at it. But they don't get what I do. They don't understand that I do it in a stand-up context. They think that I go up to people at Countdown. <laughs> I'm like, knock, knock, can I have some money? <laughs> um, but no, no, she's, you know, when I first started, when I came out as a stand-up, I hid it for a while. I was working as a tax consultant Ooh. and I didn't tell her for about six months that I was <laughs> doing, I was making a television show and she rocked up to work once and she said, I've got some lunch for my son. And I said, oh, he hasn't worked here in several months. <laughs> and, um, I had to then lie about working as a subsidiary. Uh, but now she's a, she's a massive fan. Uh, oh. she comes to, like, at the Melbourne Comedy Festival was like 22 shows in a row. She'll come to like 15. What? Um, she, I once caught her after the show had finished. She was outside with her own printed flyers that she had made um, telling people to come to my show. Oh! I, I, I did a reality television show. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. She, she made, again, her own flyers and went to, like, McDonald's and fast food. <laughs> and, like, bought for my son. And I got to the grand final, so, so I guess it worked. Oh, I love That's your so mom. Cute. I know. I want your mum to be my mum. <laughs> It's not just your mum who's a huge fan. I mean, 22 shows at the Melbourne Comedy Festival, that's oh, massive. I mean, everybody can... It's, it's, you don't get chosen. You just put in an app, like, everybody can do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't everybody doesn't come to the show. Oh, OK. <laughs> I mean, Guy did 22 shows. <laughs> Guy's show was brilliant, but... Was really... I mean, you've got a massive audience in Australia and heaps of people here in New Zealand love you too. I mean, do you get a sense of what it is that people are like, I love this dude, I love what he's saying? I don't know. I mean, look, I, I, I'm here because in Australia, like, we're flooded with... With you guys, like it, there are so <laughs> like the biggest comedian run, Ursula Carlson, guys come nominated for best, show. Guy Montgomery, Chris Parker, Melanie Bracewell, coming to Australia, stealing our jobs. So <laughs> I'm just coming here to. It feels like some sort of reverse colonisation. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I want some of the, those ticket okay. sales back. Nazim, I would like to get into some racial comedy. <laughs> would be some, what? Thing, what? some advice that you don't. You don't need like backstage. You were in. Blackface walking around. <laughs> Did you see the full Nigerian accent? I thought no one said that. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, I mean, I don't know. Like, you're, you're, are you? Do you identify? Are you a white guy? You, you look yes, white. Yeah, yeah okay. of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd probably the first step: do a do a, a hereditary, like an ancestry. To find a one or two percent thing. Ancestry. Have you done? Yes. Don't DNA? ask him because he'll come out with his like uncle being Nigerian. <laughs> I have a lot of dark history. <laughs> okay. okay. I, don't, I really don't know what the rule is, but I think if you're like 0.5 percent Chinese, you can just walk around doing the Asian accent at all times. <laughs> I think that's the rule. I, I, like, I don't know if that's that. the yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> workshop that. <laughs> um, now, yeah, massive in Australia. There's actually an Australian version of the project over there, and a wonderful host. His name is Walid Ali. Mm. I think we have a picture of him. Is it true that Australians think you you guys are the same guy? Oh, it's happened so many. He's one of my best friends. He he won the Gold Logie in Australia, which is the award for the most popular person on television. So everybody knows who he is. And really, like when when, when we got first confused, we were like one of two brown people on Australian television. <laughs> the newspaper that he write for, like he's a columnist, they actually um, announced him as a host of the project and they used my face oh. for the photo. <laughs> it happens so often. I get stopped on the street all the time. <laughs> People are like, oh my god, Waleed, I love your newspaper articles. How do you write them? And I'm just like, I just use chat GPT, tell everybody you know. <laughs> 
I'm comp like for me it's a compliment because he's super smart. Yeah. But I don't know how he feels when he gets stopped on the street. People are like, oh hey, you're that guy that makes jokes about white people. <laughs> you know, um, but you know, I, I, I don't mind it. <laughs> Look, we are stoked you're here. Thanks um, for coming to the comedy show. Now you've got two shows in Auckland yeah. uh, at the International Comedy Festival and tickets and information on our Facebook page. Thank you so much. Oh, for thanks for having me. Awesome. Go, go see these two.